Okay, I'm going to do a short video here about an adapter I made for my dovetail bar so that I could put my DSLR and a 300 millimeter lens on it. So here I've just got your standard Orion Vixen type dovetail bar which in this case is for an Orion Atlas but it could be any dovetail bar I guess and this one's 13 inches long and I wanted to mount my Nikon D50 and an old 300 millimeter lens on here this is a this lens is from the late 60s or early 70s it is a Nikkor H series. It's 300 millimeter f4.5. Manual focus. This is the old days. All I have to do is put it on infinity and hopefully it's in focus. And um, I've got it on a Nikon D50 DSLR which is a 6 megapixel. It's kind of old school now. But I've only got like 150 bucks in both of these buying them used of course and I wanted to uh, find a way to mount it on my uh, Orion Atlas and uh, use it without a telescope just have it be the main scope just have it be on there by itself and of course there was no way for me to put it right on the dovetail so what I did and this was pretty cheap I just threw it together I've got like three quarter inch thick oak by about an inch and a half wide you could use whatever just something reasonable and I've got a couple of spacer pieces so I can get my hand in here for when I put the uh, little holders on there the screw with the nut because I've got two tripod sockets here got one in the base of the camera and there's one in the lens and my idea was to do both because if I just did one say if I just did this one here the weight of the camera would eventually start to rotate and you'd get your stars elongated so since I could do both it's like hey that's pretty solid so all I have to do is I drilled a couple of holes in here for each one and uh, as you can see I wrote camera down here this is where the camera end is and the lens is there so I just put it on there and I've got a couple of one and a uh, quarter inch by 20 bolts I put through kind of an all thread type thread them into the camera and in the lens one in each and then I just tighten it up with a wing nut and you might notice I threw on some extra weights down here because I have an 11 pound counterweight in my case on my mount so I was concerned this thing wasn't going to weigh enough I think the uh, camera and lens and all together might have weighed four and a half five pounds if that so I added this I even had the possibility to add more down here but I didn't have to I actually also threw this on here for fun, this dovetail. I wanted to see if I could uh, put a camera on there and kind of have like a polar camera. And it could be done. So try the idea is if you get it down low enough, it would almost line up with the polar scope. And then if I'm doing something like uh, sharp cap software, I could do it. And it's kind of okay, you know, just to play with an existing camera. It's obviously not the same as having a real polar camera that goes in but it can be used but anyway I just wanted to share this idea you can have this set up and it'll hold it you know so you can kind of make it up to whatever your camera is and while I'm thinking about mine if you can see it there there's actually I don't know if you can see it but when I put the camera down flush there's a gap underneath the lens 
so I had to put a couple spacer washers underneath the lens so that it wouldn't get in a bind to just kind of even it up as shims but that's an easy way if you want to have a DSLR with a lens on your mount and you have a dovetail some people get these you know they come with a little screw with a tripod socket and you can just put it on there and mount it and that might be fine with a small lens but the weight of the camera especially if you have a big heavy one can actually start to loosen or tighten and the camera will start to rotate and then you won't get a good picture